welcome to a little week in my life. I actually haven't done one of these in a while and it's mostly because I feel like it's hard to film week in my life videos because I always fall off at the end of the week. Like I literally just get so busy and then I just forget about like filming. <laughs> um, so yeah, this week I'm just going to take you through the whole week. Um, I just got an Instacart order and it's sitting on my porch right now. I'm going to go bring that in. I feel like it's easier for me to do like week in my life when I feel like I'm starting the week off on like a good note, you know? Um, I did like a ton of laundry yesterday, lots of like cleaning and the house feels like pretty clean. Um, well, I didn't really like do any deep cleaning or anything, but I mostly just did um, like laundry and dishes and those were like a little behind. So I just feel so much better. So, um, Mondays are actually, like, shooting days where I'll, like, shoot content and, like, film and stuff. Um, so I probably won't, like, share a ton of that. I actually have a video, if you guys want to see, like, a day in my life of, like, work stuff, I'll link that below so you guys can watch it. Um, but I also start Mondays off with, like, kind of like a... Not a reset, but I feel like I always try to get groceries. I always try to like clean a little bit, um, that kind of thing. Cause I feel like it sets me like up for a good week. And I'm a really like big believer in like, if you like plan, it'll just make things like a lot easier. So I always try to like do a lot of planning. I also on Mondays try to like do my makeup and stuff like that because I feel like I also um, just feel better when my makeup's done and when my hair is done and I like look cute. So I'm wearing this little dress. Um, if you guys haven't seen my little video that I did, um, I'm wearing this little dress from Priceless. I'm gonna put on some like lip balm from Summer Fridays. It's like literally all coming out of here because um, I've used it so much you guys can see it's like almost gone um, but it's like really hydrating so anything that comes out I literally just put it on my hands because it's like an oil base um, and it like gets my hands like really hydrated too so anyway I'm almost done with my hair and then I'm gonna go get the groceries um, you guys have probably noticed that I have like maybe you haven't noticed I don't know but like the last couple weeks um there haven't been like three videos every single week um and that's just because i've just been enjoying the summer and i wanted to kind of like take time to like be with family but also to like take trips and just enjoy um one thing about like this job that i love is like it gives me the freedom to travel but then another thing that i have to be conscious of is like always working so um the last couple weeks i've been posting like two videos a week or like one video a week and now that we're getting back into september we are back into our regular schedule so um i uh i'm just really excited to start off the week on a good note i always feel like just so much better when i started off like with groceries the clean house with like you know I like feel like I'm giving out like that girl vibes, you know, that girl that everybody talks about like who, you know, on like Pinterest or TikTok or whatever, who's like eating right and like doing all the things. Like I feel like when I start out my week with um, like just planning, I feel like that girl. So um, also it's weird, but like when I don't wear makeup, I love how I look, but um, when I put on makeup, I just feel so much like more put together. So on days that I just like want to, like Monday especially, you want to just be like a boss. Like I always will like make sure that I do like a really cute hairstyle, which is usually like my little fro. And then um, that's pretty much like what gets me in a good headspace. I also listen to um, Dean Graziosi podcast every Monday because I feel like he's really motivating. He has like really good mindset, like, you know, like not mindset work, but like he gets you in a good frame of mind to like start the week. Um, on Mondays, I listen to podcasts that are like motivating like that. So my hair actually looks really, really nice right now. Like it has not been looking like this lately. I was actually looking at pictures of my 
hair from last winter and I was like why is my hair not holding a curl but I think it's because um there's like hair everywhere but I think it's because in the summer when it's hot it like just does not hold anything um this is a dry twist like I literally twisted my hair with nothing in it last night and then I take it out this morning and it's like this um and I don't really need to put products in it even though it feels like I do um, like it really feels like super dry when I like I'm twisting it but then the next morning like all of the oils and stuff that's already in my hair it like sucks it in and then it just like does this so if you're like trying to figure out how to like have a little fro and maybe you're like waking up and like your twists look a little limp they don't have like a lot of body try doing a dry twist because I used to actually twist my hair with product every like day and stuff and it just did not work and then doing dry twists gave me like the volume that I wanted and my hair just like I don't know it thrives with it so let's go get the groceries um and I'll uh show that to you guys and then we can put those away and start Monday out like on a really good note I don't know should I wear both of these huh. What's it gonna hurt? I'm wearing this necklace from Miranda Fry. This is also from Miranda Fry. And then these earrings right here are from Clarissa Lee Jewelry, which is a black owned business that I love. Um, for my makeup, I feel like I get questions all the time about my makeup, but I'm so serious, guys. I do not use anything crazy. Like, I'm gonna show you right now and you're gonna be like, what the heck? So I use these, um, they're little like makeup things um i used to be the type who i just would literally not know how to do my makeup and i just kind of like threw like whatever on my face and then i started using um this same tutorial and i'll link it below um i would watch it over and over and over again on youtube and then that's how i kind of learned like placement for makeup and that helped a lot um but the foundation that i use is this fenty foundation um, in the summer, I use the uh, 410, and then in the winter, I use 345, and so it's kind of like going between the two, so I mix them. Um, there just isn't a color that's like perfectly my shade yet, because I'm coming from summer to um, winter. I use this Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Water for Set and Refresh Spray. This is very good. I've been trying to find a primer that I like, and that one is like super hydrating um i'll definitely buy that one again i bought like a set with a bunch of different ones in it um fenty beauty contour stick um it's the color truffle this match stick is unbelievable and it lasts forever so um and then i use the fenty beauty full frontal mascara um which i really like this um i haven't found a mascara that i like more than this um so i keep just going back to it and then I use this Cheek Stars um, Mini Reunion Tour from Benefit Cosmetics. And this one right here actually has like blush in it. And then it also has this like brown color. So I use a contour stick and then I put the brown over top of that. Let me know if you guys want to see like a full tutorial. Maybe we could do like a little Q&A or something while I like put on my makeup. But I promise you I do nothing crazy. Um, and then I use this. And a lot of this stuff is stuff I've just had forever. I honestly think like it's less about the product. Like what product you use. And it's more about how you put it on your face. Um, because I find that like I've used really inexpensive products and really good products and sometimes it just looks bad depending on like if i'm rushed or something um this right here is the kylie cosmetics highlighter it's actually not that good but um i've had it for years it lasts forever and it does work it's just not like amazing um it doesn't give like that like crazy highlight which is fine i mean you can see it there then um i use this mark jacobs little eyeliner um and this is in the color um, I think this is like black core, like B-L-A-Q-U-E-R, I think. And then, um, I use this, uh, NARS color is medium 1.5 for my concealer. And that's it. And I actually used to use, um, a concealer that was not like 
really expensive like that one but i would like break out a little bit oh i also use this to kind of set my face it's a loose face powder comment below if you guys want to see like a routine as i'm talking i'm realizing this could be confusing for someone who does not do makeup very often but i do not and i've just learned from watching freaking tutorials over and over again and this is the look that i have this is the only makeup look that i know how to do for real like i can do like some eyeshadow and stuff but not very much so um yeah so let's go get those groceries and um maybe i'll do a little tutorial one of these days if you guys want to see if you're maybe like a you'd have to be a very very beginner for makeup like it's because it's nothing crazy so let's go and get the um groceries oh i freaking love <laughs> Instacart because they bring your groceries in or they bring it to your door. They give you exactly what you want. Um, I'm gonna take you guys outside just so you can see how easy it is to order Instacart. Like it's literally one of the easiest things ever. Um, I just feel like it makes a Monday a lot easier when I'm not spending hours grocery shopping and I can just have it sent to my door. So I wanna go show you guys. Right, when I walk outside, it's actually nice and sunny out. Um, you can see everything right here and I just can pick it up and bring it in and it's really not like that hard thankfully to bring everything inside and then get up on the counter and put it away. Another thing that I like about Instacart is that not only do they bring groceries they bring like paper towels, toilet paper so if I'm running low I can just pick it up and bring it over pretty easily. Instacart and it's like really really easy but I also am I think today or tomorrow I'm gonna get another like little meal kit thing um, and I'm gonna start using it for lunches I've used it before it's factor meals um, but I've only used it like once and the one time I used it I loved it but I just didn't like think to order again so Brady and I are gonna try to use that for meals just because we've been like so lacking on not like it's not the eating of the meals, it's the prepping. Like, just the prepping has just been like hard. So I'm gonna see if that'll help us have like healthier lunches. Um, I got some cheeses. This is the garden vegetable sweet basil cheese, one of my favorites. And then I got smoked gouda cheese. Um, I also always get pico de gallo. I feel like I love salsa, but I like to go to Gaio better than like regular salsa, but I do get a small thing of salsa because Brady goes through it. Like he'll literally like eat this whole thing tonight. Um, lots of veggies and like fruits and stuff. Um, and what's cool about Instacart is you can actually pick on the app like what recipes you're gonna make, make um, and they give you like ideas and stuff, which is helpful for me. Um, let's see what else I got. These caramel rice snacks. If you guys have seen my grocery hauls before, you've probably have seen a lot of this stuff because there's actually a button on Instacart that you click and it will like reorder everything for you. And I usually just like look through it real quick um, just to make sure there isn't anything that I need to like change up. But we kind of go through a lot of the same stuff. Um, I did get some sweets like this um, little bag of gummy bears if I can open it up. I always have to get something to help my little sweet tooth because I'm forever wanting to like just have sweet things. Let me show you guys what else I got a little bit closer. I got some croissants. Um, these are how I make my like easy breakfasts in the morning whenever I get like jam and stuff. They're really soft and I just throw them in the fridge. Um, I don't know why I put them in the fridge. Comment below if you guys put bread in the fridge, but I just do. I feel like it lasts longer. I also got heavy whipping cream because this is what I use to make any white sauce and I also use it for my cream and my coffee um let's see what else I got oh these pretzels are some of my favorites um they're chocolate not chocolate they're peanut butter filled um and I really like these and I usually like to dip them in either Nutella or just like eat them plain got lots of these for whenever I'm on the go um whenever I'm like super like hungry um I got those 
and chicken, lots of like meat and stuff. And this will go with the recipes that are actually on the app. Um, and so I have like a lot of cool ideas. Like they had a little like ham soup recipe that I thought would be yummy for this. And then um, I'm gonna use this for um, some little like Euro things. And I just like how they have like kind of new recipes or recipes that like I found on there that I don't um, normally make. Um, got these pita crackers, some of my favorites cause they're real crispy. Got some sweet stuff. I always get like a mix of like fruits and veggies but also like, you know, the good stuff like mochi. So um, this was the cheese that I was talking about by the way. It's one of my favorites cause it has like basil and stuff all around the outside. Sweet basil, so yeah, I'm gonna put this up and uh, yeah, get this in the fridge. Today, I am gonna put my phone in, or camera in the wrong spot. Mm. Just scoot that over. We are right outside of Home Goods right now, and um, I need candles. I feel like I'm always running low on candles, maybe because I burn them like literally all day. Um, but the new house just kind of has like a, I don't know, the smell isn't new, and so I don't really care for it. Um, so the candles I usually get in here are really good. I always get DW candles from here. They're really affordable, but they're also like, I don't know, really big. I feel like it's hard to find affordable big candles. I can usually find like affordable really small ones, but in here I can find big ones. So we're gonna go in here and then we're gonna go over to um, this place called Kennedy Sue. I like to flip flop between shopping like really big and then shopping small too. And Kennedy Sue, they actually sell everything online too, so I'll link them below. Um, they're one of my favorite stores in town because I feel like you guys are always asking where I get stuff and if there isn't like an online option like I can't share it with you but they have such good stuff that like people literally ask all the time like where like I got this or where I got that I get a lot of like serving stuff from them whenever I have like bachelor bachelorette nights or bachelor in paradise nights with friends um so like both places are really good but I feel like I like to shop small and shop like big store. So we're gonna go into Home Goods, um, see what we can find. I'm sure we'll be able to find some good stuff we always do. And I'm gonna look at some home decor too. Um, not sure if I'll bring any home only because I feel like the house isn't even done so it's like kind of doesn't really make sense to bring home home decor yet. But I don't know if I see something I love. I'm gonna have to bring it home. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> something I normally think about whenever I come into Home Goods, but we're having people over for Labor Day um, on Saturday, and they have shot glasses in here for literally $5 for six, which I feel like is a really good price, and they're just like really thick. Um, they kind of look like little cups, honestly. I feel like these are better than like Crate and Barrel, and they also have a couple of smaller ones that look like I don't know. Let me see if I can focus on those a little bit for you guys. These look like cups almost. There we go. I think these are cute. I like these a little better because they're more of a, um, I don't know, just very basic. Um, so I'm going to get, because <laughs> we're having actually, like, I don't know, a, like we're having two boats out on the water on Saturday. So we're going to have a good amount of people. So I'm going to get... $20 worth of these shot glasses and I think that should be enough Let's see if I can grab them there's so many different kinds like I never would have guessed that they have these here but I think these are cute so I'm gonna put that apart I feel like I always end up coming here getting things that I never planned on getting and then I'm really happy that I did get them Ooh, they also have like these tall shooters and these are $6.99 for four. I'll probably stick with the other ones because I think the tall are just a little bit taller than I'm actually looking for. So much fall stuff out right now and I am freaking out because I love fall. Like, all of this is a little too fall for me, but I did find this one right here. It's a hand wash that's pumpkin vanilla. And it has more like a vanilla fragrance than like pumpkin, but like a very like light pumpkin. So that's always what I get whenever it's like this in-between season because some of these are like a little too full, if that makes sense. But um, I like the ones that are like a little bit more in-between. So I'm going to get this and we'll probably use this in the kitchen. 
Um, these always smell so good. 100% do not need any art right now because like our walls aren't even done. But this is the type of art that I want in our new like house once everything's done. Doesn't necessarily have to be in a shadow box, but I kind of want it to look like this, like. I don't know, like lots of like paper designs. I feel like the texture is kind of cool, which is probably why I wouldn't want to have the shadow box on the outside. I just think that adds like so much dimension to a room and it's just really unique. This is so cool. I feel like whenever our backyard is like done, this would be great to put like a potted plant in where like the greenery kind of comes down. It is $39.99, which I think is such a good price for this. It's really big would be so nice like right outside our door or something I feel like that would look really pretty with like a hanging green plant of some kind on it candle aisle i was going to say candle section but same difference um same thing <laughs> but one of you guys actually recommended for me to try sensational um, which is like a candle brand and i grabbed one of them and they smell really good when you guys said that they actually are better than dw candles i can't say whether they are or not because i haven't actually tried them but this one is lemon verbena and i usually get dw candles because they like have a really long lasting effect and are really strong and like really affordable these are also like pretty affordable but um they're not quite as affordable but if they have a longer lasting effect that would be even better so this one smells so good it smells it says coconut and beeswax blend and it smells like a fresh clean kitchen um so I'm gonna try this. I'll let you guys know what it's like. kind of couch I envision for the walk-in wardrobe, like maybe in front of the window or something. And it has like a little gold on the bottom, which would be really nice because I'm planning on using like gold hardware, kind of like this. Like it's gonna be like a muted gold almost, kind of like a like a matte a little bit. I feel like that would look so nice in there. Actually, freaking out. Look how cool this couch is. I feel like I freaking need this. Like, this is the coolest looking couch I've maybe, not ever seen, but like ever seen at Home Goods for sure. This is so nice. I love this couch. It's so unique. Blankets are always the best blankets for fall. I feel like I always buy a ton because whenever friends are over and it gets a little chilly in our house, like this is what I give them. This one is only $19.99 and it's so soft. They literally at almost every home goods have like a section like this where you can go in and like grab pretty affordable blankets. Like that one's $24.99. If you're looking for fall blankets, like this is such a good place. I actually have this one and use it so much. Um, it's really soft too. Sometimes I wonder how fall decor is already out because I feel like it still feels like the beginning of the year. But they have a lot of nice like decor. I feel like I'll probably use stuff that's more muted like this but it would look really nice in like a little bowl or something. Just got home and I want to show you what I picked up. I got a lot of candles and some other stuff too. So um, I figured I'm gonna show you guys. I um, want to show you before I put it away. First thing that I'm gonna show you are these shot glasses. I got a ton of them, like literally so many. Um, so we can all use them whenever all the friends come over. And then I got this hand wash. It's pumpkin vanilla fragrance. Um, it smells amazing. It's not like too fall, but not like too not fall, if you know what I mean? Um, and then another little shot glass container. I can't believe that those are only $4.99. Like, I feel like that's such a steal. And that's the thing about home goods, is like you'll literally walk in and find stuff that's like so inexpensive that you had no idea even existed in there. I got this candle, it's called Tobacco and Vanilla. Um, it's by, who is this by? Um, House of Velas, V-E-L-A-S. Smells very good, very strong. These are a little pricier, that was $7.99. I mean, it's not like bad, it's 14 ounces. Um, but if it doesn't have a long lasting burn, I feel like that's not like really worth it my time but it smells amazing this one is uh amber and sandalwood and then those are both from the same brand this one is linen and lily with cotton jasmine amber and iris oh, and it's by the brand e-l-y-n um this one smells really good it's really like calming um i feel like i like to put those in my bathroom more than anything 
top peach rings. You guys know that I cannot go to Home Goods without grabbing some peach rings. They're just like my favorite. And then I got um, the Lemon Verbena Sensational candle that you guys said was really good, so I wanted to try it. I also got this Red Leaf Home candle and it's called Lakeside. Oh, it smells amazing. This is like, this might be my favorite out of all the ones I picked up. It has a coconut wax blend with essential oils. Very light and airy. Um, it's just very light and airy, so I really like that one. Um, it feels like like the smell of the ocean almost. Like, I don't know. Kind of like salty a little. I like it a lot. This one's called Midnight Citrus, and it's also from Red Leaf Home, and this is also a coconut wax blend with essential oil. And this smells just like the... Um, Oh, what are they called? They're like really expensive. Like those anthropology candles that have like that citrus fragrance. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like they're like 40 bucks or something. Um, it smells like that. This is another shot glass container. I actually ended up getting a lot more of those than I planned. Um, but I feel like because they're so inexpensive, it's like, why not get them? Um, then I also got another candle. This one also smells very similar to the um, one I just told you guys, the Midnight Citrus one. And, oh my God, it smells so good. I don't know the brand of this one. I feel, it's kind of like covered. I feel like it might be, um, I don't know, this smells like that same candle I was just talking about from Anthropology. It has a really cool container. Um, it actually looks like it would be from Anthropology, and it was only $9.99. I feel like this one in somebody's store would be like $30. Bucks. Um, then I got some uh, Noki. Do not sleep on Home Goods like food section because they actually have a lot of good food. I make like a Italian Noki soup that's really good, um, and I always get my Noki from there. It's very like fresh, um, and it's also very um, like thick. And then I got more shot glasses. So I literally got a whole container, or not a whole container, but like a whole thing of shot glasses. <laughs> so we're gonna be using a lot of those. So that's all I got, um, and that's all for today. So I'll see you guys again um, tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like I'm always starting the vlog from in the car, but I'm always going somewhere, I swear. Um, right now I'm heading to go get lunch with a friend. My friend Jay, she's actually um, lives in Europe and we went to school together. So anytime she comes back to the States, like we always get together. But she doesn't come back super often cause like, you know, that's like a far plane ride. Um, but I'm heading to this place called Luminary Kitchen. I've never been before, but I've heard like really good things about it. And what's funny is she actually, um, like just got there and she was like oh this is like the best like restaurant choice like it's so cute like all this stuff so um yeah i hope that um i end up liking it whenever i get there i'm about five minutes away from her um so i'll see you in guys. two miles take exit 93 onto illinois route 4 and veterans parkway uh, i will see you guys when i get there <laughs> Finished brunch and we're on our second drink. Feels and like a third and strong. <laughs> this one is so strong. I feel like we thought the first one tasted kind of like watered down a little bit, you think? Yeah. Yeah. And then we were like, okay, we'll get a second one, maybe a third. This one, I'm only halfway. Double alcohol, so rose and gin. Yes. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh, that's a it's lot. Like three drinks. Oh. Perfect. Um, yeah, this is a lot. Like, I feel like this is for sure all that I want for right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after this. <laughs> oh, we were just talking about, like, college and, like, life and stuff. Like, I think I told you guys on the way here that we actually went to college together. Cheers. And I know. <laughs> hey, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and what's funny is, like, I feel like we've changed so much. Like, in a good way. Like, we've just really, like, we're freaking adults. Like, she's engaged. Show me a ring. Isn't that so cute? Did well. He did such a good job, but like it's just crazy how like I don't know that was so long ago and it still doesn't it's feel like, like seven years ago. I know and it doesn't feel like that long almost. No, you know, it time yeah. goes by so fast. It does. What time did you guys close? Two thirty. Two thirty. Oh shoot. Ooh. What time is it? I don't know.
Oh, almost 2.30. 30. <laughs> okay, we gotta get out of here. But anyway, we're just like reminiscing on all the good memories. Um, but you guys will probably see me in Chicago with her because we're gonna go to Chicago. She's in town just until the 15th and then she goes back to England. So um, we're just gonna like soak it all up. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I am at a store cut the air it's called Kennedy Sue it's one of my favorites and I dropped Jay off at her mom because that's who drove her in um, she's actually like her parents and stuff are from Peoria so it's like an hour or so away she drove all the way here to see me but we're gonna go to Chicago um, most likely I feel like I am the queen of last-minute plans and like she's gonna be in Chicago for a couple days so yeah, we're gonna go to Chicago. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go into Kennedy Sue. I'm gonna show you guys what's in here. There is a ton, a ton of home decor. And yesterday I told you guys that I wanted to show you in here whenever I was at Home Goods, but I couldn't because like it closed. It literally closes at five. Um, it's three o'clock now, so we do have some time. But um, I just wanna show you guys what's in here. I'm just, I don't know, obsessed with this store. I feel like everything in here is such like, I don't know, it's a really good price for like what you're gonna get. Like you get really, really nice stuff in here. It kind of reminds me of like Crate and Barrel a little bit. Um, it's just really nice. So let's go inside and see what we can find inside Kennedy Zoo. <laughs> these little like pompous grass things because I feel like they're really nice to put in vases and you don't have to add like flowers or anything and they last such a long time. Okay this is stunning. I feel like the music's a little loud behind me because the music's right there but this is like so pretty. I love like the texture on it. It's really nice. Okay, just looking at couches yesterday with like texture and stuff and this is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like Bane would literally tear this up in two seconds, but it's so nice. It's not actually like this like tough, like fuzzy material. It looks like it, but it's like, I think more for the look than anything, but this is so pretty. Oh, if I didn't have a dog with black hair, I would for sure get this. It's so cute. This right here is amazing. It's so thick and so nice. I feel like this is something you would literally see at Restoration Hardware. like with the details on it. It's just a really nice tone. It kind of has like the, I don't know, it looks like it's like a little warm, but it's actually not, like it's brand new. I love things that look a little warm, but are like literally brand new, it's so nice. And they also have this little stand up here, which I think is a really nice decor piece. Everything here is just I don't need new mugs, but now I want new mugs after seeing these. These are like neutral. I can see myself drinking my coffee in these in the morning. These are just so cute. Okay, I might have to get this one. These are like, I don't know if I really like these because these look like a little different. So these are like that Aztec print, but this one's like pretty muted. I like that one a lot. I can totally see us using this on the boat. It's a cooler for like a backpack, but you also have like a little spigot thing here. So like you can open it up and there's little straps to make it a backpack. I think that's such a cool idea. Like never heard this before. See, it's like literally a backpack. So cool. I could totally see us using this on the boat. This marble stand would be so nice for an event. Like, it's literally marble and then it has like the gold here. It's just so nice. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I literally can't even pick it up. I love things like this. I feel like they make a party just like so much nicer. So cute. goodies that I want to show you guys. It's just everything that I got. I'm going to sit here. Ooh, the sun is coming through. I'm going to sit here on the floor. Um, I guess I could put you on my tripod. Um, I always end up getting a lot of good stuff in Kennedy Sue. I feel like they just have just like, I don't know, they have good stuff for gifts for friends, but I feel like they also have like really unique stuff for your house. So I'm like so out of breath. Oh my gosh. I don't even know why really. Um, 
I like work out and stuff, I'm like pretty fit. But, um, anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got. I um, got this cute little bag right here. Oh, stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm always like freaking shopping. Um, so, first thing that I grabbed is, of course, a candle from Capri Blue. Capri Blue is like one of the best candle brands. Um, they're just extremely strong, like, and they have a really long lasting effect. Um, they wrap this up separately and they just last a long time. So I actually got this because when people come over on the boat um, or just like come over to like chill on Bachelor Mondays or whatever, I wanna be able to have something that like is gonna make the whole house smell really good. And this candle will literally make our entire house smell good. And then the next thing that I got is also from Free Woo. Um, and is this little soap um, like dispenser thing. So it has soap and lotion. This is a little pricey. I mean, this like thing on the bottom alone that just holds this open, it was $12. Like literally it was $12. So um, it was definitely pricey, but I feel like it's worth it because um, when people come over, this is probably like the soap I'll use. I'll probably, it's gonna sound like really weird, but I'll probably switch it out. Um, I just think that this is so strong and Brady and I are just gonna go through this really fast and I want this to be Something that is like, I don't know. I mean, I think this one was like 18 bucks just for like the one, but it's like, it smells amazing. It's so strong. Um, it smells just like the candle. So I don't know, maybe I won't switch it out. I don't know. Comment below what you guys think. Um, I feel like if I don't switch it out, like literally Brady will like pour it in his hand and he'll like wash his face with it or something. <laughs> um, another thing I got is this little mug I showed you guys. Um, it's so cute, it has a really neat design. Um, I just really like it a lot. I think it's really cool. Um, I love mugs that are like really this like cute circular shape. Um, I like them to be kind of circular and big because I feel like it holds a lot of ice for my iced coffee. So yeah, um, Brady and I are gonna go on a little date night tonight. I'll probably bring you guys with us. Um, we're gonna go play some mini golf and it should be really, really fun. So I'll probably see you whenever we get there to play some mini golf. I thought you were gonna hit the rocks. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. One. Well, he's on 17. And still on it. But we're almost done. We're on getting ready to start the last hole and I am losing so terribly. It's okay. He's kind of crushing it. Oh! <laughs> I didn't go in. <laughs> I'm for sure gonna lose though. I literally am getting nine on like every hole. It's actually so bad. <laughs> hey! -o. 